once you reach that point where you have to gear up your character, it is very annoying to do so because you need a whole of different materials, you need to get the armor pieces, you need to get those legendary aspects that we're looking for that, for that specific build that you want to build. And again, one of the most difficult things to do is basically go out there and get that little thing that you're looking for to upgrade your armor because you do need the legendary armors to salvage the legendary armors and then finally you, you need the final material to upgrade your things. So in this video we're going to be speaking about how Helltide can actually make that process that much easier. What is Helltide going to give us? Helltide is going to give us experience so it is advice for you, I'm going to give you some little tips and tricks uh, for you to start farming your mystery chests, which is going to be the main topic of this video. Locations and the map and whatnot. It is ideal that you try to look for those things while playing with friends, because otherwise it is going to be very difficult. And there are some little things that we need to have in mind, some things that we need to have into consideration. And hunting for those chests, there's actually going to be some little things that are going to deter us to get, a, then get them more easily. So it could give you either sacred or ancestral legendary items. And those things pretty much can be useful to your build. Also those legendaries, if you're not looking for that specific item power level, you might very well be looking for that legendary aspect that you need for your build. Or maybe you just need the materials. Nevertheless, there are some things that you need to know about a mystery chest and the best way to farm them. So first and foremost, these are the legendary chest locations, at least the ones that we know about, the ones that we know that there are. There should most definitely be more, but this is the ones uh, that uh, we manage to have right now on the on the wiki for Fextra Live. And basically, what we want to do is every time that there is a hell side, we are going to be looking for these little chests that we have right here in the map. I am going to have this picture in the video description in case you want to go look it for yourself. There's also some things that you need to have in mind about those little things. They are not going to show on your map, so that is one thing that you need to have in mind. Something that you want to make sure that you not commit this mistake you open your map once you open your map right now there is no hell tide going on right now on the map but usually when there is a hell tide going on and you zoom you will be marked with these little dots that you see right here they are very small but these are also going to be significant on when are you going to, where are you going to find chests so when you zoom in you are indeed going to see the chest right there. When it's on hell side, the mystery chest, they are not going to be on the map. As a matter of fact, they are always going to be hidden. You have to get close to them and then, just then, once you get close to them, you will be able to see them and that's when that's how you want to start hunting them. Little thing to have in mind as well is that as soon as you start the hell side, start looking for the do not start looking for the chest in itself. First, look for your fragments. Look for your uh currency that you need to open them up it's going to require 175 to open them up and that is basically what you are going to need but if you start looking for this thing and then after that you you start farming it another player is going to come and grab it and yes that is something that can happen another player come that will see that you are camping around if they see you camping around in the map they are going to grab the chest and then you're going to be lost. If you're playing in a party, then what you can do is split up as much as possible. Everyone starts looking for the chest in different places, and the amazing thing is that it's going to be locked to your party. So, if one member of your group grabs this little thing, the rest of the members of your groups can <laughs> of the group can basically come back and take it away. So it is very, very, very important that you first, when the hell tide is going on, you start looking for your fragments, for your currency, uh, split up if you're playing with many people, and then if not, you start uh, looking as soon as you have the 175, which is going to be the requirement for, for opening it. And no, every single party member, if you're playing on a group, every single group member has to have its own currency. The thing is, that the currency that the enemies drop, that one is shared, but they have to be there when they when they drop it. Now these guys are going to give you, sometimes I have gotten like 6 le legendaries out of this thing, but it's also going to give you the currency to upgrade your legendaries at the blacksmith. 
And that is basically how to find the mystery chest. What are they going to do for you? And it is very, very important that you start farming these li little things as soon as you can. If you actually want to make your character that much powerful and have the resources and enough resources to make your gear that much better. Remember, if you like the constants and like never super appreciate it. No, I told you today you're gorgeous and beautiful person. You are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. I will be seeing you goddamn gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one. Have a beautiful day and goodbye.